mentioned that we have been looking at this program called PAM, which understands English stories by using its knowledge about goals and plans and actions. So we have seen a couple of examples. Let's look at another example. This is a slightly more complicated story, and this is the input text. It's not very long, but it's complicated. John wanted to win the stock car case, stock car race. Bill also wanted to win the stock car race. So before the race, John cut Bill's ignition wire essentially. So it's complicated because you have to figure out what's happening there essentially. Then if you were to ask questions, why did John break an ignition wire? Because he was trying to prevent Bill from racing. So Wilinski says that this, this kind of activity is called anti-planning when a character's actions can be understood in terms of preventing the goals of another character, typically an adversary. This football versus assignment is similar to the movie story that we talked about earlier. John wanted to watch the football game, but he had a paper due the next day. John wanted the football game and he failed in civics. Why did he fail the course in civics? He failed to hand in an assignment. The paper, it, 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 you know, we have seen all these things about merging references. Paper due means an assignment. Now, what are the kind of inferences that Pam can make? So, Pam uses rules just like Ellie did. They used to call their rules as requests essentially and it had about 100 rules of different kind. So, for example, if a character has a goal of possessing an object, that character probably wants to use the object for its intended purpose essentially. It is trying to understand why does this person want this object. So, Pam has 32 different plan boxes ranging from threaten to un undo conditions for the decontrol go. Now, when you look at scripts, you can think of scripts as doing frame finding. Understanding an input is equivalent to finding a frame or a script into which the input can be integrated essentially. So, it is like the larger story, you retrieve it and you see that what you are listening to is part of that larger story. It is already scripted. There may be problems with script based understanding that there may not be a single frame to fit the input. So, you may have to assemble together a sequence of scenes or scripts. If we, even if one were to find a frame to fit an input, the input does not amount to understanding, that does not amount to understanding the input. That is more like recognition that you are recognizing that, okay, this is a restaurant scenario, this is a train wreck scenario, this is a car accident scenario and so on. PAM is designed for explanation of the kind, why did people do, why do people do some things and that can be answered by the relation between goals and plans and actions. The group at Yale called it explanation driven understanding. So, PAM is designed to understand stories without reference to any specific frame. They could happen anywhere. They do not have to happen in a stereotypical situation. It however maintains a set of predictions to catch input. So, it has to figure out a way of how to say, okay, what do I expect to hear next? If some input fails to meet an expectation, that is a prediction, then it tries to find an explanation for the new input by using a bottom-up approach to try to figure out what is happening. So, it builds a bottom up inference and checks whether the inferred conceptualization is predicted. And the prediction could be at the long end of a long chain of inferences. So, either an in input matches an expectation or a prediction or something which can be abducted from it or inferred from it does this actually. All inferences in the accepted chain are later added to the story. 
So, this is a basic algorithm read input sentence in CD theory. So, LE or some such program will do that for you. Go to the predictive component and see if you were expecting to hear that whatever that CD theory is talking about is the prediction that explains the input. Were you expecting it essentially? If the answer is yes, then incorporate that input into your story rep representation and any inferences that you have made on the way into the story representation. So, that is one thing which happens. Whenever an input meets a prediction, we will see how predictions are generated. Then we have understood that yes, we expected to hear this and therefore, we construct the story and on the way if you had made any inferences, they are also added to the story. So, you go to the incorporation phase and read the next input essentially. If the prediction does not match the input, then you go up into the bottom up phase. Can an explanation be inferred from the input? We are seeing something, can this whatever we are seeing be explained by some rule essentially? If no, then of course, you cannot do anything further, but if yes, then treat the inference as if it was the new input and we will see examples of this. So, if you are looking at an event, the first thing you ask is, is the event a part of a known plan? Then the plan is the explanation. If it is not part of a known plan, then can a plan be inferred from that event essentially? If no, then you cannot do anything further, you return failure. If yes, then you infer one of the possible plans. Can one of these plans be a plan for the known goal? So, you ask this question next. If that is the case, then the plan is an explanation. Else, can a goal be inferred from one of these plans? So, you are looking at an event or an action and if you, if it is not matching an expectation, then you are inferring a plan and seeing whether that matches an expectation. If that does not match, then you infer a goal and see if that matches the expectation. And then of course, you can go through the sub goal sub plan relationship as well. So, if a goal or goals can be inferred from one of these, then can one of these goals be instrumental to a known plan? So, is there a plan that you were expecting and can this goal be instrumental in that? Then the goal plan sequence is the explanation. If no, and can one of these goals have arisen because of a known theme? So, themes are these constant things like hunger is a theme where you know you know that people periodically get hungry. Then if you say that John is hungry, then you do not have to think any further to, to understand why is John hungry essentially because people often get hungry. Finally, can a plan be inferred in which one of these goals is instrumental? If yes, then you go through this cycle again. So, theme is a set of constant goals as we said. So, there is a long story. So, that will take a bit of time. So, what we will do is we will take a quick break and come back and listen to this uh, or read this story uh, which is about how one person wanted a bicycle which the other person had and what happened after that. We will see that in the next video.